We are in powered flight. We're at altitude of one kilometer descending. Sky crane is started. Single to us, you remain strong. Touchdown confirmed. We're safe on Mars. <laughs> The Deep Space Network uh, makes everything that we do possible. Imagine landing night, for example, for Curiosity uh, with, uh, without the Deep Space Network. It probably, Mission Control would probably look a lot like it does right now. You know, the screens would be blank. There'd be no one in there because there'd be nothing to see. They would hear nothing from the spacecraft. No touchdown confirmed, no cheering, no nothing. It's integral for navigation. We don't know where the spacecraft is. We can't get it to where we want it to go. It's integral for us just getting the data back. Um, uh, you know, if we can't hear what the spacecraft is trying to tell us, there's no point in doing the mission. And certainly we can't even tell the spacecraft what to do if we don't have the deep space network. We need a way to talk to it and give it instructions and, uh, you know, upload new software, send commands, all those kind of things, things that would not be possible without it. You know, I spent 37 years in the DSN, and there was never an opportunity to be bored because there were always more missions on the horizon. If you worked on a mission, when that mission was over, you had to go find another job on another mission. But in the DSN, it never ended. It was just continuing to evolve into capabilities to handle these missions. Beginning, the first computers we put in, we had 64,000 words maximum. Now, on my little card for my camera, I can get 32 billion bytes, and it's about the size of a thumbnail. We used to use big analog recorders for telemetry signals. We used a two-inch wide uh, tape. And so it's just the evolution of, of technology coming in and allowing the DSN to do more and more. The network now comprises of three complexes, one in Madrid, one in Canberra, and one right here in the United States at Goldstone. They're placed about 120 degrees apart, and that allows, as I said earlier, for us to be able to be in touch with the missions all the time as the Earth rotates. And the complexities, it is a 24 by 7, and, and it's 365 days nothing stops. The data comes in, we catch it, and we provide it to the world. If there was no DSN, there would be no missions. We always remind the missions, don't leave the Earth without us. <laughs>